hello everyone i hope you all are doing great so let us start with day 4 project today we will be learning about a situation where we have to take care of lot of log file generations in our organizations so what is the use case assume the application is developed using java code and the log files generated by application is stored in the directory slash tmp slash application slash current date dot log this log file is used when users need to debug any application level related errors but suppose every day a new log file is getting generated now what will happen down the line in one month two months three months you will have hundred of log files generated at that particular location and if you will not take care of log rotation what i mean by log rotation log rotation means you have to clean up the logs at a regular interval of time else your whole disk file system will be full and your system can have business impact as well so what the term i am using here log rotation rotation means suppose i need only one week of log file i don't need the logs which are older than 30 days or the log files which are older than 15 days i don't need those log files so we will be writing a script which will help us to clean up those logs on the basis of number of days but for doing that script practically we will be learning two things first what is find command and what is m time so let us begin find command it is used to find files and directories and perform subsequent operations on them it supports searching by file folder name creation date modification date owner and permissions so find has really very vast use case in organizations using find command you can find the files directories and many other stuff you can do using the find command so a normal use case of find command i will explain here if you want to find a particular file present at your current working directory what command you will use find a space then dot dot means current working directory and then your file name suppose instead of current working directory if you want to find a file at slash home slash root just instead of dot command you have to replace it with the actual path where you want to find the particular type of files now we can specify any locations as i told so let us understand next concept that is m time m time full form of m time is modified time stamp short form is m time indicates the last time the content of file were modified so m time means what was the last time where content what was the last time when the content of file were modified for example if you are adding some new content into the file or you are deleting it or replacing in a file the modified time stamp will be changed so in a normal use case suppose you have a log file if log file same log file is used to write daily log generated by your infrastructure so what will happen the m time will be changing whatever the last time when the logs were updated into that file the m time will be the latest time stamp for that now m time takes plus n value as a parameter minus n value as a parameter or n as a parameter so if i am writing minus m time plus 30 plus is greater than n means get the list of files or get the files which are greater than 30 days suppose assume today is 29th of january if i am doing minus m time plus 30 so it will go 30 days back means it will go to december and if today is 29th if you calculate actual 30 days maybe 
from 28th of December I am talking about. So minus m time plus 30 is get the files greater than 30 days. Now similar way minus n is less than these number of days and n is exactly the same number of days. Now before doing the demo this is AWS machine where we are doing this script. So I don't have any files which is older than maybe 30 days. So how exactly I can create a file which will be older than 30 days or 60 days or 90 days for our use case. So using touch command in Linux you can create a file. Now touch command takes argument minus a minus m or minus t. What is a? a is access time, m is modifier and hyphen t is the time stamp. So you can write the time stamp cc yy month date hour minute second time format. So now let us do all these tasks practically in our system. What exactly I am first I want to do? I want to see in my this current location is there any file which is older than 30 days. Here you can see already the file like December 18, 2015 and December 18, 2015 which is even much much more than 30 days, 30 days older. So instead of creating a new file we can use our script to delete these files. These two files you can see file name one dot ext and file name dot ext because these are older files. Now let us clear the screen and do the, do all these stuff practically. So what is our script now? Delete log.sh. First understand what exactly is written in our script. So first is always bin bash. So this is shebang line. Next echo command I am using where we are just printing a normal print message. This script delete file which are older than 30 days. Now here in the script I am specifying the path like where exactly you want to delete the file. We are just echoing the path and here you see path is equal to dollar one. Dollar one means first argument we will be passing to our script. Now let us understand the find command. So find then your path whatever the path you will be passing when running your script hyphen m time is the modified time and then plus 30 days means whichever are older than 30 days take those files and hyphen delete command will delete those files and once this is done just I am doing the echo that is files are successfully deleted but let us make few more modifications into this command. So suppose what I want to do I want to print this message but only when this find command is successful if the find command is having some problem in execution it should not print the message. So what I am doing if else conditions we can use here. So you can use single square bracket or double that is fine. Now here inside the if conditions what I am doing I explained you that dollar question mark is the exit status. What is this? This is exit status of the previous command. Like if previous command is successful or not, this command's output will give exit status 0 if this command is successful. If this command is not successful, exit status will be non-zero value. So what F condition I am writing? If dollar question mark is equal to EQ is the EQ you can use for equal to. So if it is equal to 0 that means my previous command was successful. So what I will do then whatever the echo command we are writing and then what we will do else and again we can write the echo command that deletion was having some issue. So else echo command deletion was having some issue. Now let us just make this formatting bit good. So now else uh, and how to close the if conditions 
using fee we can close it so this message will be printed only if the find command is successful so in the first go let us make some spelling mistake in the find command itself and let us run the command and see what message you are getting so what we'll do we'll change the permission chmod plus x delete log dot sh and then dot slash delete log dot sh and this script need argument so i am giving the path like home ec2 hyphen user let us see what happens so you got the message here first you got the message like fin command not found and then you the condition else was executed what was in the else deletion was having some issue so now when you go to the script instead of exit mark equal to zero this exit uh, status equal to zero if it is true then you will get the message files are successfully deleted but since find command was having some problem so exit status was not equal to zero so it went into the else block and what it has executed deletion was having some issue so now let us fix the find command and then let us run our script again and see what is going to happen now so dot slash delete log dot sh and it needs one argument so slash home ec2 hyphen user is the path so what is the expected output for this command once this command is successful you will not be able to see this file name one dot ext and file name dot ext because these are created in 2015 remaining files are, are of 2020 3rd 29th of january so once this is successful let us see the ls again and see that if these files are available or not so i executed it so i got the message files are successfully deleted now let us do ls hyphen ltr so what you see those files which were previously present of december 2015 those all files are already deleted so i hope this script is now clear to you guys thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time in coming days we will be learning more practical scripting and i will make sure that we all are going to be together expert into cell scripting thank you so much guys